your first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. <laughs> Welcome in y'all 547. Happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate yes. and you don't have to have a significant other. I mean, no. No. love is all around you, right? Yeah, Friends, family. Dogs. Dogs. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't Galentine's Day? Wasn't that officially yesterday too? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Did you this Maybe. Weekend? Yeah. Maybe Get together, you know, just make the most of it or just say, hey, it's February 14th. It's a beautiful day and I'm going to be in a good mood regardless too. Valentine's Day forecast for today. Despite the cold and somewhat foggy start for some of you, we warm up incredibly fast today. High temperatures warm into the low to mid 60s. Lots of sunshine, just some high cirrus clouds. And even yesterday, it wasn't a bad day. We had the sun, but temperatures were a little cool at times in the low to mid 50s. For tonight, mostly clear. Would be a good telescope evening. Uh, not so much like a camp in the backyard type evening. A little cold for that with lows in the mid to upper 30s. Dense fog developing near the Tennessee River. Wilson Lake out there in northwest Alabama. Here in Huntsville, out at the airport, down to two mile visibility. Everyone else looks to be okay. I'm actually surprised. We don't have a little bit more widespread fog and freezing fog out there this morning. And yes, we're getting into that time of year. I know it seems early mid February here, but your pollen forecast for the juniper and the ash. The pollen count's been low lately mainly because it's just been raining so much, but it is back in the moderate category. In fact, by Saturday, even in the high category, some of the rain we see Friday into Saturday morning that should knock it down by Sunday. Temperatures are cold yet again, reaching not only for the ice scraper to scrape the frost off your windshield, but you're reaching for the winter coat, the hat and gloves as well. Look at the warm up we have though from upper 20s to low 30s, even as early as lunchtime. Nice day for a picnic 57, plenty of sunshine, wind, out of the south and west becoming southeasterly just three to five miles per hour. For your Wednesday commute, we'll give it a four out of 10. If we start to see that fog becoming a bit more widespread, maybe we'll bump up that number as far as the impacts go. But dressing warm out the door. And then, of course, you've got your red sweatshirt on because it is Valentine's Day. Temperatures will make it into the 60s. Let's talk about the end of the week, though. Seven o'clock on Friday, overcast skies. The clouds will keep us just a touch cooler. High still in the low to mid 60s. But around lunchtime into the afternoon and evening, we'll start tracking some light to moderate at scattered showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, but not expecting any organized threat for severe storms. Look it off to our north. They've got winter weather through parts of Kentucky, but a lot of the heavier rainfall will fall late Friday evening into very early Saturday morning. I think by the time you wake up on Saturday, we're completely dry, but the winds will be out of the northwest and temperatures will fall quickly as we go through the day. In fact, a lot of the day we will be in the 40s and then we drop into the 20s there by Sunday morning. So when you're heading out for church worship services, we're in the 20s, 51 on Sunday, back in the 50s and 60s for the rest of the 10 day forecast.